Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in the final station. Here we are in Motoline Valley. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, please go back and check it out. It should be popping up on your screen now. So here come some spoilers. In the last episode, we made it to the Labs uh, Bunker, la or L-ABS Bunker if you want to be technically correct. Uh, where we picked up the brain, which I believe is in the red cargo container right here on our train. And we were sent back to Metropole with it in order to install it on the Guardian. And there was some politics behind it. Again, not going to ruin all that, so go back and check that video out. So then we ended up here in Motoline Valley. And luckily, we were able to pick up a lot of food and some other supplies. Killed some zombies in an underground, underground fight club and saw the, the red pit. Kind of interesting there. So let's go ahead and hop on our train. We'll punch in the code 6... Eight, four, five. There we go. Flash is green. And we are off to our next stop. So before we get going here, remind me I need to check where we're going because I apologize I didn't check that on the last one and read the description of Modaline Valley to you. So hopefully I can do that here in a second. Make sure all of our passengers are nice and healed up really quick. So we got our scientist and our lady, Olga Williams. This train doesn't look safe. Well, you'll have to deal with it, Olga. Let's see, we got four food, four med packs. That's really good. Let's go to the map here. All right, so this should be Modaline Valley. Following a massive landslide some 20 years ago, local authorities came up with a restructuring project for a larger part of the city. Since then, the crime levels have spiked, but after Armin White's forces management reestablished uh, management reestablishments, uh, the improvement starts to show. All right, and we are heading to oil platform B-85. This oil platform being restored for the long time after an avalanche was recently brought back into operation. Currently, the hydrocarbons form the least popular and expensive fuels. Uh, despite that, renowned industrialist Christopher Thornton's son, Peter, has promised to skyrocket production. All right, so oops, we got something that needs to be fixed here. All right, so let's get this down, clickety-click-click. Click. First of all, the carriage doesn't let the exo gas in, so that's good. All right, and that is fixed. All right, and off the train goes. Then it regulates temperature even when. All right, she's starting to get hungry. I'm not worried about temperatures or the monsters. What if we stumble upon them? Yeah, who's them? Realistically, we'll have a chance to survive. The train was built with such situation in mind. Oh, here comes the oil platform. What are our chances? About 0.01% chance to survive the first attack. But that's a chance. Nonetheless, that's a chance. I feel so protected now. All right, I heard something click. Are we ready to arrive? Nope, not quite. I don't think that, I didn't catch all, they are still in the north. How do you know? And this needs to be fixed again. Come on, vents. Work with me here. There's a lot of clicking here. All right. Uh, but this train, it does move faster than them. All right, let's go ahead and pull into the station here. So we're pulling into oil platform. Was it B-85 or something like that? Can't quite remember. Some clouds in the background. Very nice. Better than that dark, dreary tunnel we were in a few episodes ago. Off our conductor hops, let's switch over to our pistol here, and let's go into the train station. No one to greet us, surprise, surprise. Up here we go. Nothing to loot, we got a note here. Yep, let's read the note. I'm getting my books from the janitor, Martis. All right, out the door. Ooh, looks like we got a bit of climbing to do. That's locked. So we'll be dealing with you at the end of the level, my friend. Up we go to the tippy tippy top. Hello, birdie. Goodbye, birdie. Can I smash this window? All right, I'm just gonna shoot this window out because I wanna see inside. Okay, there's an explodey barrel there. Um, now, if I wonder if I shoot the barrel, will explode the door? Nope, okay, so that was probably a waste of a barrel, but that's okay. Open this, a lot of lockers in here to loot. And I see three guys over there. Let's read this note. Sent Ronald, maybe he can fix the radio. There's some noise on every frequency. Ah, so if you remember back from the last episode, it said frequency on every um, frequency on every radio station was a sign that they were coming. Interesting, so that ties that all together. All right, let's go this way. 
Okay, drop those guys. Let that barrel go kaboomy. Open this door here. Oops. All right. Oof. Good thing we had our shotgun out there. Dropped all those. Oh, I wonder if it killed those guys through the door. Loot that. Get some cash. Very nice. Good thing we smashed that window out. All right. Can we go down this ladder? We got a big fellow and a normal guy. Um, Let's go over here first. See what we can loot out over here to locked. All right, so we need to get a key. Huh, and I have no shotgun ammo. So let's, um, we're gonna need to pull some headshots here. Okay, that guy's gone. All right, and now, oops. All right, big guy. And down he goes, very nice. All right, what do you got to say? Martin, I see that they are paying job that the paying job is luxury for settlers, especially if it is working for council member's son, but you didn't come home for 10 months now. Could you please listen to me and we will look into different options, Emma. All right, let's check this room over here. Got a hatch going down. Okay, we got a survivor we can go talk to. Let's talk to him. Well, actually I'm fine here. Look, I a box of canned beans just for me. Anything like that on your train? Well, I'll take you for your word for it. All right, let's loot that. Some food and some jars down there. All right, so let's uh, let's go over here first. I'm assuming this connects. It might not. We'll find out. Yep, it connects. All right. Um, ooh. All right, let's shoot the explodey fellow, and let's see how many he takes out. Too bad we can't see it, but that's okay. Hopefully, he took out quite a few other than this guy. We'll go the other way, and we'll be able to punch him right in the or shoot him right in the head. Hopefully. All right, let's drop back down here. Drop down here. All right there, friend, where'd you go? Boom, headshot, just like that. The whole room's cleared and that only costs, what, two rounds of ammunition? All right, oop, another survivor. You're gonna have a fully loaded train. No, I guess I can walk, thank you. All right, back to the train he goes. Let's go up the ladder, open this door, open this door. Let's just poke our head up here. Okay, we got two of the little ones there. That one's locked. All right, so we're going up with no shotgun ammo. Now I think, I think if I um, do this correctly, I can kind of punch them from below. Oops, but they can get me if I get up too high. Come back there, guys. I gotta just like barely poke my head out. Come on. Shot them. Punched another one. Punch. Punch. All right, one down. Let's go ahead and reload our gun here. All right. He missed. Come on. There we go. Woof. All right, we're getting low on ammo. We got plenty of health packs, but I'd like to try and preserve those as much as we can. Drop down the ladder so Explodey Guy doesn't get us. Let him blow up the light. All right, that door's still locked. All right, so we got a ladder up. We got that ladder down. Let's just poke our head through here, see what we can see. Okay, we got an explodey guy there. All right, let's um, pop up. Totally miss him. We'll take a little damage. Go ahead and heal here. All right, so that's all open now. Let's see what's on the other side of this door here. Da Director Peter Thornton. All right, let's see who we got in here. Nothing. Uh, it's not my fault the old man has left you with this trash of a plant while Adam is sent to Bristol. Stop your whining. I've asked you not to say that name again, and the old man has nothing to do with it. You've got to start small. Hire a team of professionals and get rid of that mob. Get yourself a small loan and fix the main workshop at least. Great idea, but who should I ask for a loan? Don't get mad, but Adam. Offline. Oops. What do we got? Picked up a key. Smash out a window. And down the ladder we go to this ladder here so we can go down here and all right so we got a door on both sides okay nothing in here let's open that door open this hatch all right nothing here good and down this ladder just trying to see okay I see two one two three all right I think they're behind there so I don't think they can get to us let's go punch this guy out all right, down he goes. Let's see if we can unlock this door. Yep, all right. Punch these guys out, save a little bit of ammo, because we only got two rounds left. And down they go, all right. Yeah, we literally only have two rounds left. 
All right, let's get this guy to come this way and we'll punch him out when he comes around. All right, there he is. All right, down he goes. All right, that's one, two, three, four guys down. Let's check this little house. Uh, there's our blocker code. Some rags and money. All right, gunpowder, and I can't read that last thing. Oh, pistol ammo, good. All right, load up our pistol there, grab the blocker code, and let us get out of oil platform B-85 or whatever that last part of it is. All right, under the whole platform we go. Okay, we should just have to punch out this last guy. And down he goes, get the railway key. Open this door here and let us get out of here. Another station successfully completed. All right, three, four, nine, two. Blinks green, fantastic, fantastic. As always, I know you guys are probably getting bored of me asking that, but I have to because it helps and every little bit helps when you're a small channel like me. Don't forget to like the video if you've been enjoying the comment or the, the content. Comment on down below about anything at this point, really. We're just growing and getting bigger. I enjoy talking to you guys. Got a couple regulars now. You guys know who you are. We're gonna go ahead and feed Olga here and let's see what this guy needs. He uh, He's fine. Oh my God, you did bandage the arm. Um, Oh, listen, I got a couple regulars. Enjoy talking to you guys, so let's keep it up. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming if you've been enjoying all this great content. And want to make sure you get it on time and in an orderly fashion. So we have left, and let's see. We are heading now to head over to our map here. Rail Factory E5K or ESK classified. Grab a med kit as we head back. Let's see if anyone needs some healing up. Maybe the guy on the end. Uh... We'll let them drain a little bit more. Uh, again, we're heading toward Metropole with the brain. Got a couple stops in between. Looks like our ventilation needs to be fixed, or the crystal needs to be whatevered. All right, fix that there. Fix that there. And fix that. God, so many clicks. Fix that there. Beautiful. All right, our scientist is getting hungry, and he's starting to take some damage. So let's heal him up. We're going to go grab some food for him. Grab a thing of food. Thank God we found so much food. And um, in where do we find all that food? Madeline Valley, Modeline Valley. All right, we got a chat message here with Rafe Spa. Looks like this is the end. What happened? We're out of fuel. I can't come for you. I know. I just wanted to apologize. When you started working here, I was too strict with you. Try to walk to the closest town. They're outside of the trains. I can't get out. Farewell. Wait. Hmm. Darn. Another person bites the dust. Let's go back and check on our passengers. All right, he's still bleeding out. Let's do a little crafting here before we arrive. Uh, craft. Craft the med kit. And let's, we got plenty of pistol ammo. Let's make some shotgun shells. Beautiful. And let's bring the train into the station. All right, so we are at, uh, what was it, Rail Platform ESK or something like that, E5K. Let's see what it has to offer our conductor. What challenges await us? Thankfully, we got plenty of shotgun ammo. I hear a dog barking in the background. Let's um, switch over to our pistol to begin. No one comes rushing out the door. That's always a good sign. Let's pop our head upstairs. Go to David, second facility, this is urgent. Empty lockers, some food, okay, we'll take that. All these red crates out here, wish we could loot those. I see a light, a okay, let's shoot out the window. All right, so we got two friends up there, good to know. Check this door, decontamination again into a big empty area, and we can't go down that latch. All right, so I see one fellow there. So there we go, let's start bringing them this way. We're gonna try and punch these guys out. Down one, down two, and down three, and not a shot fired, beautiful. Small little guy. Okay, that one I will shoot because I don't like these guys too quick. All right, down he goes. All right, come on, reload, reload. Okay, good. And then we'll switch shot to our shotgun here and we'll bash this guy. Beautiful. All right, used up a little bit of ammo there, but that's okay. We got rid of the exploding fellow. 
See a little one here. Down he goes. All right, so we are now out of pistol ammo. Um, all right, let's throw. Oop, that was a little too close. Uh, stage two, status done, foreman comment. The frame is installed. Check the damper system on stage three. We had it misbehaving yesterday. So I think if I would have went up, I could have avoided all this. All right, I see an armor fellow there. So let's draw their ire. Okay, drop him. Reload, knock his helmet off. Drop him, punch the big guy out. All right, now we're only down to four shotgun shells. We were just running low on ammo, my friends. There's nothing I can loot so far. We'll have to backtrack here soon. I want to make sure. All right, let's back up here. And we're going to shoot this one from a distance. Hopefully they keep coming. Nope, they decided to stop. Come on, friends. I just want to talk. Knocked his helmet off. Okay, headshot him. Where's the exploding fellow? I don't see you anymore, friend. That's what scares me. Did I blow him up? All right, let's just go up the ladder. Oh, there he is. All right, down he goes. All right, two shotgun shells left. Uh, stage four done, foreman comments, diesel engines installed, the equipment is connected, everything is ready to be tuned. There are still issues with the manual brake, check the carriage mounting. All right, so it looks like we got a finalized train here. And we're just gonna go ahead and drop those guys. Uh, all right, let's let's go up. And we might have to do some backtracking here. Okay, we got a key. That's good. Why is there a delay? The blacksmith didn't leave any records, and we can't set up mass production without him. What are our options? Well, obviously, he's too busy building the Guardian now. So I prepared a proposal for shutting down the experimental train production. What will David say? Dot, dot, dot. Smash out that window. All right, so let's go. We got one shotgun shell. All right, well, let's go back and check that other area. Maybe it'll be some ammo or something up there because we really need ammo. We got plenty of med packs. We got three med packs. That's good. We have to do a little, little punching here. All right, and we're just walking, walking, walking. Do da, do da. All right, so we got a big guy. Hopefully one shotgun shell is enough for both of these guys, and it is. Okay. Open this door. Oh, yeah, we got some pistol ammo. We got to break a window, so we got that going for us. All right, switch over to our pistol here. Let's go ahead and reload that. All right. So there wasn't much over there, but we can now head back this way and head down that hatch over there. I was hoping we'd find a little bit more, but I guess not. We got five food, we got that going for us. Might have to run by some enemies here next time. Maybe that's what we were supposed to do. Were we supposed to go like up and around all these guys? Maybe that's what we were supposed to do. All right, let's head down this ladder. All right, I don't see anything, that's good. Okay, another room, another light to smash out. Nobody down here. We got two options, left and right. Some TVs we can throw. All right, so let's go this way now. Uh, I'm gonna say there's someone in the bathroom. Nope. All right, well, let's go this way with our TV. Maybe we can throw it at someone. Down the ramp. Loot this guy. Ooh, okay, now we got some ammo. Big old X on this door. Dang it, come on. Okay, little guy's gone. So these guys we should be able to punch out now. Okay, big guy's gone, and that guy's gone. Good. All right, can we pick up the toilet? No. Switch over guns. That's reloaded. Oh, I didn't want to hit Q, but, well, at least we're fully healed now, so we got that going for us, too. All right, let's drop down here and switch, and we're going to punch this guy out. Down he goes. Let's go up. Okay, there's one of the exploding fellows. Let's see if we can... Um, Get them to get them to explode here. I don't think I can shoot through this floor, but I wonder if I just kind of pop down. There we go. Let's see if he hurts me through the floor. Nope, but he did take out a lot of his friends. That's good. All right, let's go down. Anyone coming this way? Nope. 
All right, let's go this way now. Yep. Stage three, status done. Foreman's Comets. The car car Caris is ready. Check for, would that say shaft fastening? All right, so we got one, two. Buckle my shoe. Punch this one out. Knock his helmet off. Headshot. Down he goes. Oops, there's some weird noises. Stage four. Status delayed. Foreman Comet. Production is being shut down. All work in the second facility is halted. Uh, Bellus-AX-O2 reactor is to be placed in the isolated container for personnel safety, waiting for further instructions. I'm guessing that was supposed to be stored. All right, another big guy we can beat up on. Let's punch him out. Down he goes. All right, let's go up this ladder. Can we read that? Nope. Uh, I'm going to save ammo as much as I want to shoot that window out and see what's up there. So many doors to check. All right, let's go poke our head up. Ooh, there's our blocker code. Fantastic. Nothing to loot. Oops, I want to open the door. Oops. Um, dang, I wish I would have had my other gun out. All right, yep, you walk back that way, friend. Yeah, keep going that way. Keep going that way. All right, up. I missed that shot. Dang it. Boom, he goes. Let's see if we can loot anything over here. Uh, we can read the laptop. David, I understand, but we have not a single operation ballast yet. I will repeat, I have sent one working train north for evaluation and test. I'll file a detailed report as soon as they send it back. So I'm assuming that's our train it's talking about here. We are not interested in backing a project that leads nowhere. Do you realize the price we've paid to get hands on these reactors out of thousands who were sent for it, only seven came back. We can't just throw them away. We're reviewing our legislation banning any tech from the first visitation area from use. I am sorry. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, let's go this way now. And back up the ladder we go. Another door to open. No one trying to kill us. Always good. Ah, a survivor. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. I'm guessing he will need some medical packs when we get to the train. Gunpowder and scraps. Fantastic. Up the ladder again. Pop the hatch. And the train should just be right out here. Yep, there's that dog barking. And there is our beautiful train. All right, well, let's call that another episode of The Final Station. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below on really anything at this point. Last episode, we talked a little bit about music. Uh, again, still looking for feedback on commentary, video quality, audio quality, anything like that. I have pretty thick skin, so please feel free to make fun of me as much as you want. Lastly, if you've been enjoying this content and you want to even get it on time and in an orderly fashion, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you again for joining us today, and I'll see you in the next Final Station video.